uh, the the episode where it showed what what happened with um with Victor at the after party, and he's just like super 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 drunk and just like it's like dance off now. What is up guys, my name is Ripley Gamer and welcome to the Sims 4 cast collection where I'm going to be using the creator sim to make a variety of characters from TV shows, books, TV shows, books, movies, uh, animations, whatever you want to do. So today I'm going to be starting off by uh, making two characters from the Japanese animation show Yuri on Ice. I'm doing this, I'm going to do this for my friend Sean because she showed us the show last season, the anime. And that was the first time we'd seen Yuri and Ice, and I quite liked the show. I thought it was really good. Lovely show about ice skating. I mean, know that little love story, and the characters were just, they were all pretty good. Love Victor. He's hilarious. So, for this session, I'm going to be making Victor and Yuri. And as a bonus, I'm going to be showing, um, showing off um, Yuri Plisetsky, who I made earlier, just to give it an idea. I think I did pretty well with Yuri Plisetsky. You'll do... Perfectly. So start off with Yuri Katsuki. Nope. Yuri Katsuki, a Japanese ice dancing skater from. I can't remember what the name of the town is. He's from like a little town. A little town in Japan that's got like a really nice hot springs that his family runs. And I've got a picture of. I've got a picture of Yuri I can use. It's kind of like a forward forward facing but it's also got a side profile of course i'm using animation i'm like detailing off an, of an animated um show so it's gonna be a little bit harder because japanese animation is a very distinctive style and a lot of them do have the same kind of features but if we could see what kind of face we need okay first off we cannot have those eyes he's got rather dark brown eyes which can be edited later through a uh, through my mods. It's got rather th like really good eyebrows. I wonder if any of my modded ones could work. They're like thin, but they don't have an arch or a distinct arch. They're kind of more like oh god, not that. <laughs> They're not that at all. They're more lines of uh, maybe this. Yeah, that works. I'd say that works. It's kind of got quite a narrow, quite narrow nose. I think the lips are all right. Just I got a good in length. Just make them just a little bit more. Got to make that chin pointy. It's got quite a narrow chin. Yeah, that works. It's got quite high cheekbones, but quite narrowish chin. I don't think I haven't got any other pictures on here. I've just got this one. I've got two of Victor because Victor's gonna be a little more tricky to work with. But I do. Do you know I did download. Ah. Uh, I downloaded some skin packs, but I can't remember which one. There was an Asian one, so I wanted like non-Asian skin features and an Asian one, but they're not named, so I don't know which one they would be. I think that one's the closest we've got for now. So I think its facial features are kind of there. It's a little hard to tell gonna check through my custom hairstyles. I have quite a lot. I did download one that I think will be good for Victor. But he's got quite he's got quite um he's got short black hair so it's like but it's kind of like um like he puts it up for the ice skating. He puts it like kind of gels it back for ice skating but like when it's normal it's kind of just like it's a good picture. It's like kind of just falls over but it's like a little bit of fringe but not too much and it's mostly side fringe maybe not that i don't know maybe because it's kind of hard because a lot of these hairstyles have they don't do the fringe going a certain way but i think that might be i think this this is a good one to go with these are just like rough ideas i'm not like super accurate i try and be super accurate but also what he does need he needs some nice, he needs really nice brown eyes. I suppose once I found, like, I got used to the idea of modding, just my get, just, I never stopped. I have a lot of realistic eye mods. A lot of these are Praline Sims. She does some really good ones. She does, like, she does, like, I think it's, God, I'm not sure, but Praline Sims does, like, they do, like, really good. 
like hair mods and eye mods, a lot of good skin tone mods as well. This one, number, number, God, number 50. Oh god, that's way too bright. That's more Victor's eyes. Like these, I think these work. Oh, they got that kind of, you know, that anime glow, I guess. <laughs> it's the only word I could describe it as. But regular Yuri he does wear glasses, so does wear glasses. What kind of glasses does he wear? He's got squarish, squarish ones that have like, um, where the frame is like that. He wears these. No, it's either, it's like this kind of shape, but with this kind of style. So you might just have to go for, you know, standard nerd glasses kind of look. Not too bad. I'm a little worried on the skin tone though. He looks a bit kind of, he's like, he's pale, but he's kind of got a peach tone. I think that's good for his uh, formal Formal because he does kind of gel it back a bit. And that's maybe not so much that I don't know if I have any. Not that. That's more. I think that's more like um, one of the other dancers, like the. Oh, this one works. This one works quite well, and he doesn't. I think he wears his glasses for formal, and then maybe do the same. Same hairstyle for his, his dancing. And just leave it down like that for a party outfit. Now we've got to change. That's a very weird outfit. Oh, it's one of those in the city outfits. It looks absolutely ridiculous, though. But he does. He wears a blue, like, Parker blue. Something like that, actually. I think that's, like, the closest they have. I think that's, like, the, the closest in, like, colour, but not in style. That also works, but that, that also works with the colour scheme. And then he wears a jacket over for that, I think. And then he wears like just very simple black, just black. And he wears a lot of running shoes. And she, she does a lot of training. That is not the outfit he wears. That is not get outfit. I, I remember watching the um uh, the the episode where it showed what what happened with them um, with Victor at the after party, and he's just like super. <laughs> Super, super drunk and just like, it's like, dance off now. Are you seriously telling me you don't remember? Huh? At the banquet, you got wasted on champagne and started dancing. Everyone was watching. It was quite funny. It was the music as well that, that kind of, see that that's not too bad on his form and that. It's mostly his workout outfit that we want to focus around because he wears, he wears like black for that mostly. I mean, for pie outfit, we could go try and go for his skating. For his like for his um like performance outfit. We don't have one of those like, you know, workout tops with the lines on. It's not one that I can see. It'd be something like that in. Like in a blue. Blue also you gotta be a lot a lot leaner. You gotta have some weight, but he's also gotta be quite le he's quite a lean person. Cause you gotta be like you gotta be like incredibly fit to do ice skating. He wears like those. That that works perfectly. Shame I couldn't find any, I couldn't find custom ice skates. That would be really cool. Does not wear that to bed. He, it's like he's all about just looking incredibly comfy and get off me, Victor. I'm not a heating pad kind of thing. Is that a sweater? Yes, that is. Something like because it's just Vic because like Victor and ah oh, the Swiss guy Chris. I think his name is. They come back and they're like, it's so cold outside. Can we can we use you as a heating pad? And Yuri's just like, please don't. I want to go to sleep. I'm already terrified about my performance tomorrow. <laughs> I think my favorite reaction from the show was, um, uh, so they all meet everyone before the uh, the free skate at the finale. And I think it's just the way, like, they're like, since when do you wear jewelry, Yuri? You're not like that kind of guy. And he's like, well, no. And Victor's like, it was the only way they could match. And everyone's like, they're both wearing rings. wear for a party outfit that's what i want to know because there's not really anything ice skating-y i have a lot of i do have some modded items to work with but it was just everyone's reaction they just sort of see the rings look at them and they're like oh congratulations on your wedding can't believe you guys are loaded. and everyone's like what are you even talking about we got everyday formal training sleepy time hanging out at a party and when he's in the hot springs and then 
Victor walks in and he just takes his towel off and they're like, please don't. You're not allowed to be naked in the hot springs. For traits, he would be... I got some custom traits. So, well, I did. I don't know where they went. He's not very confident in himself. I would say he's... not. I don't know. I had the socially awkward one. I don't know where that went. That's a shame. My custom ones aren't on here. The old one I go into mod or grow people up, they turn up, but... Not sure else. He's active because he's a nice skater. Quite ambitious, and maybe. He's not outgoing. He's good. He is best boy. He's a good boy. Uh, it's a shame. shame they don't have, like, sports, like, kind of things, So, because we'll just have to go for just that. Maybe not. And I feel like Sims need to add some more stuff to the aspirations. Like, having pop... Like, popularity's got, like, five things, but location's just got, you know, city. I don't know. Let's say he wants to be a musical genius. That might work. That's Yuri Katsuki. It's quite little... Cute little bean. Cute little bean. Shame my socially awkward thing is not on there. It was one of the custom traits I had, socially awkward. And basically it was just like, you're not very good around people and you get embarrassed a lot if you're... if you're rejected by social interaction. That kind of thing. That worked works as well and now we are going to do Victor okay it's been quite hard trying to look for a decent face for Victor just to try and work a little bit also he is white he's like he's not that white he's not that white either he's incredibly pale is the because <laughs> he lives in Russia where it's cold all the time and everyone drinks vodka and eats potatoes not a good stereotype of uh, not a good Russian stereotype to work with. I don't know about his mouth though. Like with with Yuri, it was a little easier to have something already to work with, so it wasn't need to do much to change it. Victor's like got basically the same. I could have saw that chin out. Goddamn chin! Like he's not goddamn. His chin's not that big. Neither is his jaw. It's one thing I. Like, doing the mouths in this, it's almost, it's quite a pain. Also, in anime, in anime, you don't really see mouths, so it's kind of hard to understand how the lips, like, look. They're the only... It's not, there's very few animes I've seen where characters have got, like, full, proper lips that you can see. Although, in Mononoke, uh, the woman who ran the Iron Village was the only one who had, like, proper lips because she wore lipstick. Yeah, I gave him quite thin eyebrows. It's the kind of more like, God, not that. Like, he's got quite thin eyebrows, but they're still like, you know, a little bit of personality to them. Not that. Certainly not that. I see them more like that. Quite thin. And grey, because I don't know why he's grey. Or incredibly blonde. I guess I'll just make them blonde, but make his hair white. And I did find a quite a good hair stuff. It was this one. It doesn't look right when I look at it, but we'll sort like we'll sort the hair out in a minute first. We gotta try and get a decent skin tone for him. We wanna use one of these like this. That hair's also pretty good. That works for him as well. But it just doesn't look like his hair in the show because his show he's got like He's got like that big cowlick. That's the only way to describe it. Like that one also works quite well. And again, it has to be super white. That one actually I think is a lot closer to what it is because his hair's more like kind of actually that kind of works as well. It's not that. It's like kind of greyish greyish blonde like he went He's not that old. He's still in his 20s, I think. But like, it's just like going grey already, I think. Oh, I don't know. I think we'll go with this one for now, just because I like... And that still looks right. I've got to do something. Getting him right is... is I said he was going to be tricky. Like, Geary was kind of easy to work with. Okay, I think I found some of the works. Kind of. 
It's the best I can do. It's a it's a over skin tone overlay, but that does kind of work. Makes sense. What the hell's wrong? Ugh. What do we do the nose now? Because it's not like it's still quite narrow. Okay, I think I got it. It looks a little bit long, but I think I got a good idea. He's way too pale. The paleness is just I'm struck. I'm just struggling with trying to get his his. His skin tone right because he's super pale, but that hair kind of works. I think it's a lot. It's it's a quite good because he does tend to push it off to the side when he's trying to be professional, and then it falls in front of his face sometimes. He's not looking too bad. I'm I'm I, can't, I wish I could do a lot more with him because he's he's really hard to work with. I don't know why. Doesn't really wear accessories. No earrings or necklaces or anything. Which is a shame. Actually, I wonder. If he does wear a nice jacket, puts on a nice suit jacket. Actually, I had a much better idea for what I found that might work for him. Just because it's Victor. Probably. Like, this is just party wear, because it's like we're not conforming to what they actually wear in the show. It'd be hard to get what they wear in the show exactly right. Again. Nice pair of jeans. With maybe these. Or other kind of like boot style. Is he wearing those feet? Oh, I forgot about his feet in this one as well. He wears like, you know. Full because I think he kind of wears a suit to the press events and stuff. But that's a Vic Victor was hard. Victor was a tough one. Yeah, Victor Nikiforov. Cause he's Russian. Nikki for of Nick Froz. I don't know. I don't know how you'd say. It. I, I listened to the dub as well. One of the episodes dubbed. He's he's quite a cheerful person, <laughs> and he loves dogs. He loves dogs, as evidenced by his dog. What the hell's the dog called again? I just remember when it ate the like the food. And then it's like, you have to go back to Japan, otherwise, you know, the dog, the dog, the dog needs you. And you come back to Japan and everyone's like, it's the dog dead. And it's like, no, the dog's fine. They would never kill the dog off. You never kill the dog off. For his last, I think he'd also be active as well. Maybe, maybe not so much active anymore. Outgoing. He's a very outgoing, outgoing person. I know what his aspiration would be. Probably family. Love. <laughs> give him give him the soulmate one just for the hell of it. And they don't look too bad. I mean Victor was hard. Victor does not look like Victor in the show, but I think I didn't do too bad with Yuri. I think Yuri looks quite adorable. And cause everyone will prove like, are you gonna do it? Then I'm married. They're married in the Sims now. They might as well have got married in the show with the whole ring exchanging thing. It's not illegally binding, but and because I had to show you. So first things first is we are going to save these guys. I'll call this Yuri on Ice. Yuri on Ice. So you got Yuri Katsuki. I spelled Katsuki right. And Victor Nikiforov. Just add some hashtags. So I'm going to upload this to the gallery so you can find it on there. My name on, my name on the gallery is Ripley Gamer. So they are now added to the gallery. They're now on the gallery. We've sh I've shared them. They're in my personal gallery as well. And I'm going to show you all now. And now to see this cutie little bean here. Little Yuri Plisetsky. He's a teenager, obviously. Animal lover. Loves cats. Active as well because he's a nice skater. I'm very thankful I found this hoodie. Because <laughs> it's got... Because it's there's a lot of European countries that use red, white and blue in their colours. And Russia's one of them, I think. So I was just like, that was very fortunate. But he's also on the gallery on a separate one, and I'll add them as a trio as well on a separate gallery. But isn't he... The hair I was fortunate to find, because this is... This hair is Kijiko. Kijiko, they do they do really good hair mods. Because I was looking for this hair, particular hairstyle for a long time. Because it's a really nice, like... There's that, there's that really beautiful, like, pink and blonde combo. But I found little... Found little Yuri... 
for a little Russian Yuri. That's his kind of outfit because he's like, you know, he's Edge Lord. He's an Edge Lord. Very simple. That is actually quite accurate of what he wears when he's doing the training because he does ballet in the show to like work on his um work on some of his moves because he's like I think he's like really he's like one of the young youngest ones on the um in the show one of the youngest ones ice skating like with everyone else like I think the second youngest was the the kid from Thailand who was about 17 or 19 I think and um, Yuri wins gold spoilers <laughs> little little Yuri Plisetsky wins gold as well and so yeah, so we have we have Yuri Katsuki, lovable little precious bean, and Victor. Victor, who I really wish I could have made a lot better. I don't know why. I'm sorry, Victor. You are not as handsome as I made, as you are in the show. I could not match your handsomeness. And then there's this cutie little bean I wanted to show off because I made him. I made him on my own time just to see, and he looks so adorable. He looks so adorable. He's everyone's favorite edge lord. Just pile all the cats on him. So there's these guys. I'm gonna save these guys as well into a household after. But this was the Sims 4 cast collection, as this is gonna be called, because I'm gonna be doing show. I'm gonna be doing any type of show. Give me suggestions, actually, because I would love suggestions. And I've got some other. I've got a lot of anime shows. I'm gonna want to do. I have a list. I got some TV shows. I'm doing. I'm gonna be. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do next because it's on my list, and I, I put it on my list recently, and I watched a new episode today. I'm gonna do a two-part special for Riverdale. I've got six characters I'm gonna use. I'm gonna split them into two videos, so I do three each. Which one? But I do have a lot of other ideas. But I do have a lot of anime ones. The JoJo's Bizarre Adventure I have an idea for, but I'm only going to have to do two of the characters. Because if I did them all, it would take forever and there's not enough spaces in the household for them. So, this was my Sims 4 cast collection video. This was the Yuri on Ice edition. With Yuri Katsuki, Victor Nikiforov, and Lil Yuri Plisetsky. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Give us a subscribe if you love this video, because I enjoyed making this and I really want to do more of these Sims videos. And I will be doing, this is actually a perfect time to announce the upcoming, as soon as Slime Ranch is finished, I'm going to be doing The Sims 4, Keeping Up With The Baratheons. Yes, Keeping Up With The Baratheons. They will be coming out as soon as Slime Ranch is finished, and Slime Ranch will be done probably within like a month or so, a couple, like a month or two, depending on how many, how fast I can get through making the videos, how fast I can finish the story, and how fast I can make the ranch look amazing. I might have to do longer episodes for that and cut them down. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a subscribe and click the bell if you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you thought this was pretty cool. And give me suggestions for other characters to make. Because I enjoyed making th these cutie little beans from Euro Nice. And I've got more anime shows because I'm a total weeb. I mean, I watch anime Friday night with a whole bunch of other people. It's fun. It's fun, we, we, all, we all make jokes and we all pretty much ribbed on Bloody Vores and Knights of Magic because those ones were terrible. Like Knights of Magic had so much promise and then it was just so awful by the end. But we're watching some good shows this season. We're continuing High Q, the volleyball show, we're watching Around High, Host Club, that one. We watched Tokyo Ghoul last semester, we watched Euro Nice last semester. Uh, we're watching Blend Desk with the Maid Cafe and... Kono Subarashi, the better version of Nice Magic, which involves death and fantasy. And what are the other ones you're watching? We've got some other ones we're watching. Oh, Future Diary. And I think there's a couple others I haven't mentioned. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.